United States Presidential Primary Abstract The presidential primary elections and caucuses held in the various states, the District of Columbia, and territories of the United States form part of the nominating process of candidates for United States presidential elections. The United States Constitution has never specified the process, political parties have developed their own procedures over time. Some states hold only primary elections, some hold only caucuses, and others use a combination of both. These primaries and caucuses are staggered, generally beginning sometime in January or February, and ending about mid-June before the general election in November. State and local governments run the primary elections, while caucuses are private events that are directly run by the political parties themselves. A state's primary election or caucus is usually an indirect election, instead of voters directly selecting a particular person running for president, they determine the number of delegates each party's national convention will receive from their respective state. These delegates then in turn select their party's presidential nominee. The first state in the United States to hold its presidential primary was North Dakota in 1912, following on Oregon's successful implementation of its system in 1910. Each party determines how many delegates it allocates to each state. Along with those pledged delegates chosen during the primaries and caucuses, State delegations to both the Democratic and Republican conventions also include unpledged delegates who have a vote. For Republicans, they consist of the three top party officials who serve at large from each state and territory. Democrats have a more expansive group of unpledged delegates called superdelegates, who are party leaders and elected officials, PLEO. If no single candidate has secured an absolute majority of delegates, including both pledged and unpledged, then a brokered convention occurs, all pledged delegates are released after the first round of voting and are able to switch their allegiance to a different candidate, and then additional rounds take place until there is a winner with an absolute majority. The staggered nature of the presidential primary season allows candidates to concentrate their resources in each area of the country one at a time instead of campaigning in every state simultaneously. In some of the less populous states, this allows campaigning to take place on a much more personal scale. However, the overall results of the primary season may not be representative of the U.S. electorate as a whole. Voters in Iowa, New Hampshire and other less populous states which traditionally hold their primaries and caucuses in late January-February usually have a major impact on the races, while voters in California and other large states which traditionally hold their primaries in June generally end up having no say because of the races are usually over by then. As a result, more states buy for earlier primaries, no. WN is front-loading, to claim a greater influence in the process. The national parties have used penalties and awarded bonus delegates in efforts to stagger the system over broadly a 90-day window. Where state legislatures set the primary or caucus state, sometimes the out-party in that state has endured penalties in the number of delegates it can send to the national convention. This project compresses information gathered from Wikipedia in video format. Why should I watch it? Studies prove that reading while listening improves comprehension, increases speed as well as expands vocabulary and enhances fluency. Provide your feedback on the comments section. Support the channel by subscribing and liking the video. Thanks.